Want to make a fancy salad to impress your guests? It's easy. Stick around and I'll show you how. Carpaccio basically means sliced very thin. You can use a knife, but if you've got one of these contraptions, it makes it a lot quicker. This is called a mandolin. You want the cucumber very thin, so adjust the blade to about an eighth of an inch. Now it comes with a hand guard, but of course, I've lost mine, so I got this cut resistant glove. For this recipe, you need to use an English cucumber, mostly because you need to leave the skin on. Cut the cucumber in half and then make a test slice. We're checking to see if the thickness is correct. That looks pretty good. Now slice the rest of the cucumber. You may need to rotate the cucumber as you do the slices. I know I have to because it makes them oblong if I don't. When the cucumber starts to get pretty short, lay your hand out flat so that you don't cut yourself. This is a cut resistant glove, not a cut proof glove. Next, choose your shape and size of plate. You can make one big platter or you can make individual salads. Start overlapping the cucumbers to make an outer edge. This is the most important layer, so take care to get it even. It's important because this outer edge is up against the contrast of the light plate, so you will see any discrepancies. Now move in and keep layering. Try to keep them as even as you can and work your way to the middle. You can use a variety of shapes of platters. This is nice if you want to make individual salads. Just make a nice border as you did before and then fill it all in. For another variation, you can make thicker slices and then put a bowl in the center with some dip. The next step is the dressing. You need salt and pepper, lemon, and olive oil. Use a really good quality extra virgin olive oil if you got it. Squeeze the lemon juice all over the cucumbers. Then drizzle the olive oil. You just want a good drizzle, but you don't want to drown it. Next, add some salt and black pepper. Cover it with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for at least a couple hours. It's better if it marinates for a while. If you don't have time, that's okay. You can serve it right away. It's also good that you can make this part ahead and just finish it right before your guests come. You can make a variety of designs. Just play with it. I finished mine with diced tomatoes, dill, feta cheese, and scallions. But really, you can top it with anything you like. Now you're ready to add some flair to your next salad platter. See you next time on Kimberly in the Kitchen.